The short Cyber Monday has passed, and the Cybertruck Delivery Day is coming to Tesla fans everywhere. Everything will be coming soon. The appearance of Cybertruck will adorn Tesla's product line if the company wants to dominate the global electric vehicle market. All you see first is a dual-motor variant with an EPA-rated 300-mile range and the Cybertruck's impact on Tesla's success by 2024. What benefits can you get from the Cybertruck? Let's find out in today's episode. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Without further ado, let's get started. What do you need to know before owning a Cybertruck? Recently, Tesla has officially announced the detailed schedule for the release of the Cybertruck, which will take place at 2 p.m. Central Time although there is no information yet about the live broadcast time. However, we hope to witness this memorable moment most impressively through X. The initial price of the Cybertruck at the first launch event may not be the same as the Cybertruck at the upcoming delivery event, a gap of four years. If we take into account the inflation cost increase of about 20%, the single-motor Cybertruck will be priced at $47,990. The dual motor version will cost you $59,990. And finally, the three motor version will be $83,990. However, we truly believe that the price of the three motor Cybertruck will decrease quite close to these figures, and Tesla will raise it to the $79,990 to qualify for the $7,500 tax credit in the United States. An update from the Tesla CEO has surprised some electric vehicle enthusiasts on social media, especially considering that Tesla usually organizes the first vehicle delivery events in the United States at night. Tesla had organized a first delivery event for customers in the afternoon at Giga Shanghai for the Model 3. But that was in China, not in the United States. In the United States, models like the Model Y and Model 3 were first delivered at night. The interesting thing is that organizing the first delivery event for the Cybertruck in the afternoon means that electric vehicle enthusiasts will have the opportunity to participate and witness the appearance of the Cybertruck early on. Fans from European countries will be able to watch this event around 8 p.m. local time. However, in countries like Australia, a significant market for pickup trucks, the first Cybertruck delivery event will start very early at 6 a.m. following the local time. Based on our observations and interest in the Cybertruck, we have discovered that more than 25 Tesla Cybertrucks have appeared at Gigafactory Texas, where the event will take place. This is not counting the dozen or so Cybertrucks that have been transported to Tesla stores across North America in the past two weeks. This gives us a visual insight into the number of vehicles that will be delivered on the release day. With most of them featuring the RC label, some with graffiti covered shells and the rest believed to be production models. Therefore, we will witness an evolution in the Cybertruck's finishing through a comparison of these versions. A recent reveal of a Cybertruck variant showed a real world range of 266.6 miles on a 16 mile long trip, causing the battery to drop from 71% to 65%. However, it is important to note that this is often not the EPA range, the figure Tesla would list for the vehicle. EPA is a rarely achieved number in the real world. To achieve this operating range, the Cybertruck will have a 123 kilowatt hour battery confirmed by the showroom manager in San Diego. The 266-mile figure suggests that Tesla is targeting an EPA range of around 300 miles for the all-electric pickup truck currently on display. Elon Musk initially announced that there would be three variants of the Cybertruck. He then continued to mention a four-motor variant capable of crab-like steering. However, we don't expect to see a four-motor Cybertruck because previous findings only indicate the Cybertruck's ability to execute impressive four-wheel steering maneuvers. Elon Musk stated that there would be a beast mode variant of the Cybertruck capable of accelerating 
from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. Considering the weight of the Cybertruck is around 7,000 pounds, this would be a technical feat. Lower variants of the Cybertruck are expected to be slower in acceleration, with around 4.5 seconds for the dual motor variant and approximately 6.5 for the single motor variant in terms of performance. What will the Tesla Cybertruck do when you drive it? You might not realize it, but the Cybertruck and other Tesla models have a massive technical brain at work when you use the navigation feature. This brain simultaneously performs more than 15 different calculations to compute the travel range and ensure that you have the most efficient, smooth, and safe journey possible. Your Cybertruck will calculate the amount of battery you have and the battery you will use during the trip, as well as when you reach your destination. This may seem like a simple calculation, where they take just the number of miles and assign a certain number of miles for each percentage of the battery, but it's much more complex than you might think. The Cybertruck will calculate the speed and wind direction as you drive and update this information throughout your journey. It seems the calculations will accurately account for the impact it will have. Tesla not only tests its vehicles in harsh desert conditions and extreme heat, but also conducts tests in winter conditions with snow and the coldest temperatures possible. Moreover, people tend to want to take their Cybertrucks out and see how they perform in snow, ice, and extreme heat. This compels Tesla to push the limits of its vehicle before customers do so themselves. It would be a bad situation if customers had to conduct tests and receive results that didn't meet expectations. The Cybertruck is known for its adaptive air suspension system, and recently, it demonstrated impressive ground clearance control as the driver initiated the vehicle. Previously, we've also seen the Cybertruck complete tests like driving on snow, muddy terrain, and rough landscapes, leaving us with no doubt about what the Cybertruck is capable of. The Cybertruck can calculate traffic speed to assess how it will affect your journey to your destination. Additionally, the faster you travel, the more battery usage you'll incur. All this analytical information will be displayed on the central screen, and you can control it. Yes, reducing speed while driving can also feed excess energy back into the battery, in which case regenerative braking will perform the task of recovering kinetic energy when decelerating or going downhill. The traditional braking system on cars involves brake pads clamping onto the wheels to slow the vehicle down. When you're not braking in a gas-powered car, your car tends to coast forward with minimal resistance, except for air resistance or tire friction on the road. However, there are some issues with this braking system as the brake system wears out over time, and the energy used to slow down the wheels is wasted as heat dissipated into the air. The Cybertruck will utilize regenerative braking even though it has a standard braking system on the vehicle as a precaution in case you can't use regenerative braking to decelerate. When you brake in an electric vehicle or you release the accelerator and drive downhill, the process of capturing energy from the battery to transmit to the motor and turning the wheels forward will occur in reverse, charging the battery. This extends your vehicle's range and the EPA range in electric vehicles includes regenerative braking. Most of these calculations work and provide the driver with an overview before starting the journey and during the travel. How has Tesla differentiated their product line from the competition? Tesla seems to be introducing a front camera wash button and several other features with the next software update, as revealed by Green the Only in version 2023.44.1. You're already aware that the Cybertruck is equipped with a front bumper camera, and there have been concerns about the potential accumulation of dust and mud on this camera while driving, impacting both Tesla vision and the driver's visibility when observing through the central screen. Everything becomes exceptionally impressive when you can press the camera wash button on the screen and everything works smoothly without the need to step out of the vehicle to do so. Another innovation that has been long discussed is the small 48-volt electrical architecture on Tesla's new product lines, especially the Cybertruck. Although the 48-volt system has been partially used in light hybrid vehicles for several years in high-demand areas, 
The shift of the Cybertruck from the traditional 12-volt system is a significant step for the automotive industry. In the traditional 12-volt system, the wiring system and components need to be larger and heavier to handle high electrical loads. However, the 48-volt battery system can efficiently handle high loads, helping reduce the size and weight of the wiring system, especially for low-draw components. This means better vehicle performance, handling, and manufacturing efficiency. While other electric pickup models like Ford's F-150 Lightning and GM's Hummer EV are using small 12-volt batteries, implementing this technology in the Cybertruck brings several advantages. The 48-volt system allows for more efficient power delivery and handling of higher electrical loads with smaller cable systems resulting in overall lower weight and increased efficiency. Manufacturers have been slow to fully adopt the 48-volt technology as they rely on third-party suppliers who may not be equipped to manage the rapid transition to the new system voltage. As more automakers recognize the benefits of the small battery 48-volt, they will be compelled to invest in the technology and necessary infrastructure to implement the conversion. Failure to do so could lead to market share loss and decreased profits. Due to the vertical integration, manufacturing capabilities, and corporate structure of Tesla, they have unprecedented flexibility to design and produce integrated components in-house, allowing for a rapid transition to the new 48-volt battery. Moreover, Tesla's decision to use this small battery gives them a significant advantage when it comes to accessories and additional features for the Cybertruck. They have a dedicated secret accessories team specializing in developing products specifically for the 48-volt architecture, such as lighting, winches, and air compressors. These products are designed to seamlessly integrate with the Cybertruck system, providing customers with a variety of high-quality accessories tailored to the vehicle's capabilities. With this approach, Tesla aims not only to deliver superior products to customers, but also to generate new revenue sources and strengthen its brand image as a leading innovator and designer. Why will Cybertruck be a huge success for Tesla? In 2019, Tesla was in a happy position as it became the leading company in terms of large volume and high prices in the global electric vehicle market. The delivery of 367,500 vehicles reflected a growth of 50% compared to 2018. This figure includes 92,550 units of Model 3 and 19,450 larger Model S and X in the fourth quarter, indicating strong future growth and generating an annual revenue of $24.5 billion. In the same year, Tesla announced the Cybertruck. The new vehicle with its futuristic appearance represented the company's first step into the pickup truck market. Although the initial delivery plan was scheduled for 2021, the Cybertruck faced delays due to factors such as weight, making it challenging to achieve the desired range with the appropriate battery usage. Therefore, we'll have the opportunity to witness the final delivery date starting on November 30th, meaning that 2024 will be the first full production year for the Cybertruck. Tesla is simultaneously navigating a challenging transition. Formerly a groundbreaking company rewriting the rules, it's now a contemporary company trying to protect sales volume and profit margins. The dynamic growth strategy saw a new gigafactory in Shanghai start operations in early 2020, along with two other factories near Berlin, Germany and Austin, Texas, both commencing operations in 2022. In 2023, Tesla anticipates selling a total of 1.8 million vehicles, nearly doubling the sales figures of 2021. However, things can change rapidly in this industry, and Tesla must face various challenges in its three main markets, China, Europe, and the United States. And the big question is whether Cybertruck can solve them. In Europe, Tesla reduced prices in 2023 while maintaining a balance between quantity and insurance fees. 
This poses a significant challenge for any ascending manufacturer, as increasing production can reduce costs but erode exclusivity, potentially leading to a loss of the ability to maintain high prices. As of July 2023, Tesla held about 60% of the electric vehicle market share in the United States. A substantial figure, both in terms of quantity and compared to other premium competitors. However, the introduction of the Cybertruck may not generate additional growth in Europe. Pickup trucks are considered a secondary product there and may not be suitable for many European cities. The introduction of the Cybertruck to the market is expected to create a halo effect for the Tesla brand, similar to what happened with the launch of the Model Y. Recall the surge in Tesla stock prices in 2020 increasing sevenfold as people were excited about the Model Y. The volume increased from a 36% growth rate in 2020 to 86% in 2021. The Model 3 was introduced in 2017 and the Model Y was introduced in 2020. Investors at the time of the Model Y launch were concerned that it would cannibalize sales of the Model 3. However, this did not happen. Tesla sold more Model 3 vehicles in the US in 2022 than in 2020, while also selling around 250,000 Model Ys. The total sales volume of Tesla in the US in 2022 was over 150% higher than in 2020. And both the Y and 3 were successful products. With one month left in late 2023, the Cybertruck's halo effect may not impact sales figures, but surpassing sales estimates in 2024 could convince investors that the Cybertruck is a compelling idea. The pickup truck segment in the US plays a crucial role in Tesla's efforts to maintain a premium brand position by expanding its product portfolio. However, pickup trucks are also a significant profit source for the big three U.S. automakers, Ford, GM, and Stellantis. Tesla has received over 2 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, with a waiting list extending for five years. However, the vehicle will test whether the company can balance quantity with high prices. Currently, there will be two models, as the lowest spec single motor variant seems to be no longer available. The premium three motor Cybertruck may be priced below $80,000. Some improvements in both models, such as the stainless steel body panel, seem more like marketing exaggeration than technical logic. The polarizing design may not appeal to the conservative traditional segment. Statements about impressive performance with the ability to tow 14,000 pounds are noteworthy. Moreover, when the Cybertruck was unveiled in 2019, Tesla's stock was around $23 per share. It entered this week with a price of over $236 a share. When Tesla introduced the Cybertruck in November 2019, the stock initially dropped by 6.1% as investors absorbed the design. It took about a week for the stock to recover to pre-Cybertruck levels. It's easy to predict that the arrival of the Cybertruck will be a significant success for Tesla. What did you prepare before attending the Cybertruck delivery event? That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed it, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on any of our amazing videos. We appreciate your feedback and your time, and we hope to see you next time. Until then, take care and have fun.